Hello? Oh, it works. Hello, everyone. I, my name is Jing Song Li. Uh, today, I want to share something about the payment, something about uh, iceberg compatibility, something, something about the multimodal storage. So, the first thing I want to share is the uh, timeline of industry development and uh, also the history of birth of the payment. So, the, you can see the, the, the timeline. So, first thing in 2008, Apache Hive born. So, Hive, what is Hive? Hive is Hive Metastore and Hive Circle and Hive Table. So Hive is built on the Hadoop ecosystem, so built on the HDFS uh, for Data Lake. And then, uh, and then the, the colon storage is born. So the famous colon storage is FireFormat, is ORC org, and Parkrit. So colon storage, so it, it is the evolution of FireFormat. So colon storage has very efficient Compressing and scanning because you know, yeah. Actually, in analysis area, there are many scan. You you just want to scan some a few uh, columns of one table. Imagine a table has one hundred columns. You just lead five columns. So using ORC or using Parquet has very fast scanning, and then the table format just like hoodie, iceberg, and data lake born. So the table format, the, upper, the table format, uh, the data lake format is the upper grade table format of Hive. So the, the lake format provides high performance format for huge analytic tables and uh, more features just like incremental updates. So the table format actually control the files instead of just like a Hive table. Hive table just control the di re director of the files, but the table format, lake format, control the files, the manifesto, the statistics of files. So for the lake format can do more than Hive tables, just like ACID, just like delete, just like update, just like merge into. However, the previous uh, solve the, the, the table format, the lake format solves the batch processing problems. Actually, yeah, you know, this is a conference about Flink. So for the streaming processing, we need a lake format, very easy, very good integration with Apache Flink to do streaming processing on the data lake. So Flink community incubated the Flink table store. So Flink Table Store is a streaming lake format. And then Apache Payment Born. Apache Payment is a real-time lake format because we know actually in that time we know the lake format is not just one engine for Flink. The lake format Apache Payment also lead to have a very good integration with Hive, with Spark, with other engines with Trello, with Starox, with Doris, and then and now Apache Payment released 1.0 and 1.2. So this is a very, very stable version. You can use it, it in a large, very large scale. So you can see the timeline of industry development from Data Lake and the file format evolution, and lake format evolution, and real-time lake format evolution. So the payment, actually the biggest scenario of payment is using Flink, payment, and actually Spark to build a streaming lake house. So what is streaming lake house? Imagine you, 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 you have, actually every company, is, every company has a batch lake house. So a streaming lake house is on top of the batch. You can make, you can convert some pipeline into streaming. For example, for real-time ingesting. Actually now many, many companies also already converted their or ingesting into real-time ingesting. Use Apache Flink to do streaming ingesting, to do streaming update to the payment tables. And the second is full pipeline streaming. 
So most of the scenarios are batch processing way low, but some scenarios can be converted, can be accelerated to streaming pipeline. So using payment and Flink, you can do the streaming pipeline in a data lake. So for the payment, for the streaming data lake, so what is the key design for streaming updates? Actually, for, for, so what is payment and why is payment? So the payment ability to build a streaming data lake, the core design is LSM. So it is a log structure merge tree. So we look, log structure merge tree is a standard of real-time system, just like RocksDB, just like a ClickHouse. So LSM has amazing update performance. So the payment is the only lake, lake format combined with lake and LSM technology. So based on LSM, payment can support just like real-time update and real-time change log generation. And based on the LSM, uh, can combine Flink to do CDC ingesting and with schema evolution in streaming ingestion. So uh, the, 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 the technology, the architecture is the LSM impairment in LSM is using LSM and the SSD fire in LSM is a packet fire. So combine the column storage, column fire format with LSM structure. And with LSM structure, payment can do async minor compaction, balance the write and read. So not just for, just like Iceberg, like Delta, if they want to do some batch processing, batch update, batch merging, the, the table will merge all data. So, but for payment, for LSM, we can do some minor compaction, just balance the write performance and read performance. So we, we, we have do, done a real-time update benchmark for payment, Houdin, and Iceberg using serverless Flink in Alibaba Cloud. So the result is lower is better. So we can say payment have very good update performance. So not just performance, there is a very, very good future to let you have schema evolution in your streaming job to do streaming ingestion. So we have in community, we have two ways to have schema evolution. The first is Flink CDC YAM, which supports CDC directly from database. You can use Flink YAM to write a CDC ingestion pipeline. And the second is payment CDC, so which supports CDC from Kafka. Actually, some pipeline, you don't need to just ingest data directly from database. There is a Kafka. So you can do something like a pipeline, like the right graph. You can do a snapshot to, to sync database into the snapshot files and do an initial to payment table. And then start a payment CDC Flink job to read the change log, read uh, incremental data from Kafka to payment. And then the streaming pipeline can have schema evolution, even nested schema evolution. And then you can use Spark or Starox to do real, real-time query on the data lake. So with this future, with these basic abilities, payment is widely used in the industry. For example, Taobao, Tianmao, uh, in Alibaba Group uh, ha handles hundreds of PB of data. And, uh, the max, the largest uh, table for one single table up to 40 million rows per second. Not per day, not per month, per second. So this PB level table is very large. It proved that payment has the uh, ability to store very large scale table data. And uh, in Alibaba Group, many Many, many businesses use payment to achieve unified streaming and batch and improve the date refresh list by one hour. And in Vivo, also in Vivo, it, 
they migrated the Hive tables to payment, enable data sorting and use the data skipping to boost query performance, also using CDC ingestion for CDC time updates. And in Xiaomi, uh, they built a streaming lake house with payment, reduced the streaming pipeline cost, and unified, also unified the streaming and batch, and ensure a more stable streaming system. And in ByteDance uh, TikTok, they built a real-time streaming pipeline with payment and use Flink to unify streaming and batch. And in Shopee, also they improve data freshness and reduce storage cost and use also use payment upon table to perform better than Hive tables, work very well with offline table use cases. So all the companies or the use case, the keywords of payment is streaming updates, streaming change log, streaming partial update, and the data skipping and the unified streaming and batch. Actually, all these things, all these things are about uh, the, co very, the, the core things is that payment has amazing integration with Apache Flink. So not just Flink, just Flink is not enough. So payment itself also has very rich ecosystem. You can see CDC ingestion, Python API, Security, Flink, Spark, Hive, Starbox, Stories, Trello. And, but if your company has low late, late, late format, you can, just, you can just build a complete ecosystem based on a pay payment. But if your company already has an iceberg ecosystem, payment can, can be considered as a part of iceberg ecosystem because payment has a future about iceberg snapshot. So payment can produce iceberg snapshot automatically. Payment has been, uh, has iceberg compati compa compatibility for a long time but it has not been able to sync real-time files to iceberg before. Because actually payment using LSM and payment know how to merge data files. But iceberg is not familiar with the structure of LSM. Iceberg does not merge the data files. So, so we cannot sync the real-time files into iceberg, but thanks Thanks to Iceberg V3, deletion vector files have been introduced. So you can say with this SQL, you can declare Iceberg storage and deletion vector enabled. So for this table, if you do some CDC ingesting streaming updates into payment tables, payment will produce the files and with the deletion vectors using the LSM query look up to produce data vectors in real time and the iceberg snapshots. So in this way, so in this way, the iceberg snapshots can be produced in real time with real time data files with data vectors. So you can just query an iceberg snapshot, you can see the minutes level latency files. And your title, today and my talks, the title of my talk has multimodal AI storage. So at the present, the processing of AI data is relatively rough on structures and memory copy resulting in a lot of waste. And you know, now the AI, the model is about the text, is about the words, is about the sentence. But in future, there is a very, very big chance about multimodal data. So the multimodal storage will be very, very large. So I think it's a very chance of us to data infrastructure to store all multimodal data into our data infrastructure. So the, the, the emergency of the nice file format has brought us possibility of bringing AI data, bring multimodal data into our structured system, even unstructured multimodal files. 
So you can see the, the, the graph. So actually for data, most of the cases are, is, are about the best scans. And for our RDBMS, just like a database, have very, very good performance about random access. And for multimodal storage, it's, uh, it's about large blobs. You can, if you use packet fire to store large blob files, you will find that there are very many, many out of memory because packet fire is not for these large blob storage. So the length file format is for all cases, but it's very, very good for large blob storage. So payment, so payment table format integrated lens file format to, to serve AI and data engines, just like PyArrow, just like Ray, just like Flink and Spark. And with this integration, the payment can store multimodal large blobs and have very good performance about random access in colon files and have very good performance to add colon data. And also payment itself has already integrated, introduced the variant type and sharing variant. So, uh, so with this payment ecosystem in open source, our Alibaba combining these uh, capabilities, we have built a complete set of fully managed development platform on Alibaba Cloud and make it very easy for business to build on Alibaba Cloud. So this platform is Data Lake Formation, is DOF. Our Alibaba global business have, for example, Taobao, Tianmao, Lazada, uh, Feizhou, and Cailiao, Elma. These businesses has been built uh, the, 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 the Data Lake platform on the DOF. So the DOF itself has lake formats about the payment and iceberg, has also has its data management about the metadata, about the catalog, about the bucket of compaction, and provides open source REST API about the payment and the iceberg, and has, in, has integrated in Alibaba itself serverless engines, just like Flink, Spark, and Storix. So the core benefits of this platform is open source fire, open source API, and have full managed service, and has intelligent management, and had, has deep optimized computation. Now DOF catalog in Alibaba Cloud is in public beta, and will GA in August. Now DOF PAM catalog is now available in Singapore and Jakarta. So welcome to use, welcome to provide suggestions, welcome to provide requirements. Thank you.